Number 66. The distance between the centers of the two oxygen atoms in an oxygen molecule is 1.21 times 10 to the negative 8 centimeters. What is this distance in inches? Okay, conversion. Here we go, right? They're asking for what a distance is in 1.21 times 10 to the negative 8 centimeters, and they want to know what it is in inches. So let's just put this into context real quick. They're talking about two oxygen atoms in an oxygen molecule. So an oxygen molecule is O2, hence the two oxygen atoms. So let's just say that here's one oxygen and here's another. They're saying the distance between the centers. So the center of the one oxygen to the center of the other oxygen is... 1.21 times 10 to the negative 8 centimeters. And they want to know what that distance is in inches. Okay. So if I can see a conversion factor or a conversion question, I like to do a roadmap. So let's write out the roadmap over here. Roadmap. Okay. So you always start with what you're given. 1.21 times 10 to the negative 8 centimeters and they want to know how many inches there are. So I'm trying to go to inches. Okay, so is there a direct conversion between centimeters and inches? That's when we go to the handy dandy common conversion factors chart. Now centimeters and inches, you guys should know by now that this is in a length. It's a, it's a unit for length, right? It's not a volume and it's not a mass. So we're looking at length here. So I'm just going to scroll the four and let's just see if we find anything. Well, definitely not the first one. That's mass and uh, meters and yards. But look at the second one. One inch equals 2.54 centimeters exactly. So I got the inches and I got the centimeters. So I know how to go from centimeters to inches in one single step. So in this case, this question will only be one step. Now just know that we need to use ratios, right? They give it to us all nice and neat with this equal sign, but we like to use ratios in chemistry, which is the fraction. It looks like a fraction, right? One unit over another unit. So in this case, I'll just write the ratio out. I could use one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters, or since they're equal to each other, I can write them the opposite way. So 2.54 centimeters is equal to one inch. Okay, so now let's get started. You always start with your given, and in this case my given is the 1.21 times 10 to the negative eighth centimeters. Now we've done tons of conversion questions before, so if you're new, go back to the, the last three or so questions. That's more in depth, so we're going to speed it up. So just know that, remember, if you want to get rid of centimeter in this case, you always have to, ooh, what kind of M was that? If you want to get rid of centimeter, you always have to multiply by a ratio, a conversion ratio, in which you want to get rid of centimeters, so it has to go on the opposite side. So centimeter has to go on the bottom, and the unit that you're looking for will go on the top. And now we're using the 1 inch equals 2.54 centimeters. And if I go back to the two that I wrote, it looks like I'm going to be using this one because the centimeters on the bottom and the inches are on the top. So one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. The centimeters will cancel because the same units that are on opposite sides cancel and you're left with the unit that you want. So in this case, you literally multiply the top. You would multiply the bottom if there were multiple fractions. In this case, there's only one. So I'm just going to simplify it here, right? It would be 1.21 times 10 to the negative eighth times one is literally the same number. So 1.21 times 10 times 10 to the negative eighth divided by this number is the only number in the denominator. So that would stay exactly the same. So 2.54. And now I will just do the division. So calci time, aka calculator time, 1.21 times 10 to the negative eighth divided by 2.54. Long number, so I'm going to give a 
a few uh, digits, but then I'll cut it off. So 4.76377 times 10 to the negative ninth. Okay, so that's what I get. And now we just have to give the correct sig figs. And remember, when you're converting, the correct sig figs always come from the given sig figs, never the conversion factor sig figs. So it never comes from this chart. I don't care how many sig figs in any of these numbers are. It always comes from the given. And the given was 1.21 times 10 to the negative eighth. So 1.21 times 10 to the negative eighth. Now remember that the times 10 to the does not matter for sig figs. So we don't really care about that. All we care about is the 1.21. How many sig figs are here? Well, one, two, and three. All non-zeros count. So there's three sig figs here, which means that there should be three sig figs at the end. So let's simplify this. So we got a four, seven, and a six. The next number will round will tell me if I should round, and I shouldn't because three is lower than five, so it would be 4.76 times 10 to the negative ninth. And now you just include your unit. The unit that was st last standing was inches, so this is inches. So that's what equates to 1.21 times 10 to the negative eight centimeters. 4.7 six times 10 to the negative ninth inches. And that's your answer. Bock it off, bock, bock it off, bock it off, box it off. That's your answer. So that's the answer. What's the distances, distance in inches? 4.76 times 10 to the negative ninth inches. This one was the easy peasy one. And you know what else is easy peasy? Hitting that subscribe button. It will help you guys out because you'll guys know when we release the next back to of answers for you, but it also helps us out by knowing that you guys are learning. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you all in the next question. Have an awesome day.